you would probably think I was in charge of the washing in my home, but, but definitely not. Um, the wife would probably be a good kit manager because she likes things folded in a particular way. She's definitely in charge of uh, that department at home. Uh, my name is Lee Radcliffe and I'm the kit manager for Liverpool Football Club. As a kit manager, uh, my main role is organisation and it's organisation from your daily training routines to managing training kits, how they get washed, how they get folded and then towards the end of the week when you're building up to the weekend it's, it's all the preparation for the game. Good morning Gray, good morning Carl. What are we up to now, just getting kits ready for Portugal? On a match day, the kit and the players kit is put in a particular way so they know exactly what they're getting on a match day. I uh, saw an advertisement in the local paper. Lucky enough, when I had my interviews, it was a job for Liverpool Football Club at the training ground. Uh, so I came on board as a facilities manager for the club and then progressed to become the kit manager for Liverpool Football Club. There's a few of them, I don't want to cock the piles up. My role is to make sure the players have got everything they need. Even when I should be on holiday at times, I'll come in. If I know there's work that can be done and if you see kit that's halfway round or it's hanging down. For me, it, I like things just to, to look perfect. My family, I've obviously I'm married with three children. Show me skills when we get in. My three boys, I think they love the fact that I work at the football club. I think, I think they're quite proud in a way. They tell people, oh, my dad works at Liverpool. He's the kit manager. Come, go round. Yeah. Belt on straight away. The youngest one, Kai's. He's football mad. How was your day in school, Kai? Good. Yeah, so Kai's he's got quite good knowledge on the kit. Um, we had no babysitter one Saturday morning when we were playing United the day after, so Kai game came with me and Graham and he sort of watched and helped us set out the changing rooms with all the kit and the flip-flops, etc, etc. So he, he, knows, he knows the job well. Go on then, see if you can score. Shorts down. Shorts. You do some skills. When I was a child, uh, living, I, my dad was in the army. I lived in Germany for a, f a few years, and my biggest memory um, that I always come back to is the 1984 European Cup final. And I just remember and still remember it like it was yesterday. Alan Kennedy taking a penalty, putting it away, winning the European Cup. So for a child, that was one of my biggest, best memories. So Melwood is the place that we work day to day. This has uh, been Liverpool's training ground for many years. It's quite famous all around the world. And this is the home. This is where the heartbeat, this is where everything is organised from. So we'll just, we'll just pack this in, in there for, for pre-season, mate. Yeah, so basically this is uh, the boot room at the training ground. Part of our role, we look after the players' boots, so we make sure their boots are ready before they go out for training. Because they can't find their boots, they'll get a fine and they'll blame me. So, so we make sure that's all ready for them. Yeah, the relationship with the players is really good, to be honest. And the laundry area and the kit room seems to be a bit of a gathering area for the players. You get a lot of players who will come down in the morning and they'll pick the paper up and, and they chat to, chat to you like we're chatting now. It's, they treat us with the, the greatest of respect and, and they don't think that they're these big superstars that you see on the football pitch. They're still really decent, honest people. Uh, since I've been working here, the way we wash would change more, I think. I think the quality of uh, the soap powder that we use have just improved every year we've been here. It's far better quality. We're at the point now where we can actually wash the kit like it should be washed on maybe a 30 degrees. Everything's all down to like energy and, and if you can lower degrees just to save the environment. And now because the detergent is so well, we lost a majority of our kit now on the 30 degrees. But we're still getting the, the great results that we used to get when we had to wash on a higher temperature. When you're determined to brew the world's best beer, you discover a thing or two along the way. In 1952, Carlsberg mapped a protein-degrading enzyme for the very first time. 
By sharing this discovery with the world, groundbreaking progress has been made in unlimited facets of technology and industry. Luckily enough, we've not shrinked any jerseys and I probably wouldn't see that as a funny thing. Not if, not if we were away from home and I couldn't change it. I still get the excitement when when we sort of see the training kit and the match kits, obviously eight, nine months before they get released. And so even now I'm, I'm 44 years of age, but I still get excited by seeing football kits. Yeah, the club means the world to me, to be honest. I think in a city like Liverpool, you're brought up. It's a family tradition and my mum was a big Liverpool fan, still is now. Never misses a game on TV, doesn't go the game now like she used to. We all feel part of the club. Everyone sticks together and everyone just puts 100% in and, and, and I think that's why the club is a real family club.